I have uh, been, been interested in Camaro since the first day that my dad, who owns a speed shop, drove a 1968 Camaro into the garage and the rumble and the sound and everything about it. I'd fallen in love with that car then. Then my passion got passed on to my children. Of course, I have a 1968 Camaro, Hugger Orange, Big Block. I dropped them off at school. You know, everybody rumbles through and everybody looks at it, you know, and, you know, they're all like, yeah, that's my dad. This is the year of the Camaro. Of today. The Camaro Collector Edition really pays homage to the very beginnings of the concept of Camaro. You know, back in 1965 time frame, one of the things that was talked about is this new, very, very aggressive, lightweight, affordable car. And some people described it as maybe it should be some kind of vicious animal that eats Mustangs. And so that vicious animal that eats Mustangs was a panther. And the Camaro means companion and friend, and, and it's really, I think, what the Camaro is. The Camaro's always been a, a performance vehicle um, that's attainable for, for all of our customers. Big performance on the engine, you know, good handling, good brakes, good tires, good wheels. The inaugural 1967 Camaro was a very tasteful hourglass design. Under the hood, a 5.7 liter V8 engine offered almost 300 horsepower with a single four barrel carburetor. Many believe the early Gen 2 cars are the most exotic, European-inspired Camaros of all. With their low, wide stance, unique egg crate grille, well-drafted front fenders, and Corvette-style twin round tail amps. The 1982 Camaro sported a more bold, aggressive look with sharper character lines. The complex rear hatch class was state-of-the-art and unique in shape. And the third generation also brought the return of the convertible model in 1987. My very first car was a Camaro, third generation, had an 84 Z28 with the five liter high output. You really felt like it was a car that you could afford, but you're getting world-class performance in that car. And they're very fun to drive, they handle well, and they're also versatile enough that you can have it, like I did, as my only car, going to school when I was growing up, moved to Michigan from Florida in my Camaro with everything I owned. So it really has a special place in my heart. Chevy rolled out the thunder on the street with the IROC Z in 1985 with a five liter V8 with tuned port injection. The aerodynamic fourth gen Camaro was inspired by a 1989 California concept Camaro, which included smoothly integrated rear spoiler, one of the fastest angle windshields ever on a mass production car. The fourth gen also saw the return of the Camaro SS model. After an eight-year hiatus, Camaro returned in a big way in 2010 with a retro theme inspired by the 1969 Camaro, but with a bold contemporary look. It sported an independent rear suspension, a Camaro first, for better agility and more compliant ride. Gen 6 brought a leaner, meaner Camaro with a rigid structure that made for a lighter, more responsive car. Four different engines were available, including the 650 horsepower supercharged ZL1. The great thing about the Camaro Collector Edition is it's available throughout the whole Camaro lineup. At the top of the coupe lineup is the ZL1, new paint, new aerodynamics, and really a whole new design package overall. Under that, we have the SS, and the LT1, and then the V6. We had these brand new black paint colors between a matte one and a super sparkly metallic one. V6 through SS, those cars are glossy. They're a black metallic tri-coat paint job that is brilliant in the sun sparkles like crazy. And to really set it off, I used satin accents on those cars. But then the ZL1 needed its own deal. And so we went and had a satin paint job for that car. And to set that off, we put glossy detail. So that car has glossy mirrors and glossy rocker, glossy splitter, glossy stripe up the center. And so they were sort of inverses of each other. The theme stays harmonious across them all. On the steering wheel, Every car will have a little panther that's at the bottom of, of the spoke down here. But when you get the limited availability number ZL1, that will not only have a panther there, it'll actually tell you what number you have out of 350. The carpet has been cut such a way that the stripe that's on the exterior is mimicked on the floor mat on the interior. These ones are actually metal aluminum milled parts that are three-dimensional. We had a laser come in and actually laser etch a panther right into the R on the floor mat. Oh, they've never seen a floor mat quite like this. I gotta 
tell you, your team is doing an amazing job with this album. This is awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's its heart, it's its soul. It makes somebody turn their head, right? And we're really, really proud of the way that the car sound and the way the car's up. Sounds good too, right? Oh, it sounds great. Model U24 Collector's Edition, specifically the ZL1 Coupe, is an absolute blast to drive on the track. We have track mode that really sharpens the car up, it sharpens the suspension, it sharpens the steering, it sharpens the throttle response in the car. All of that plays back into the V engine, a 6.2 liter supercharged V8, 650 horsepower, so we have lots of go. We took the carbon fiber aerodynamic package that we developed for the 1LE, and we combined that with the ZL1's magnetic ride control. Doing that, we were able to retain the ZL1's 20-inch wheels, got the aggressive wing, then that wing needed the front splitter and the aggressive grill to match. Hey, yeah, the car's a rock star. On the collector edition, all the wheels are forged. We reduce unscrum mass, we increase stiffness, and it gives the car not only a really aggressive look, but from an engineering side, it also improves vehicle handling. The cars will brake better at like shorter distance. The cars will handle better because there's less mass to turn different directions. And they'll accelerate faster, and they're stiffer. So the fact that every model has a forged wheel, which is a performance attribute to me, is phenomenal. The brakes on the car are exceptional as well. We can turn fast, we can go fast, but we also need to make sure that we can stop fast. Big 15 plus inch uh, rotor, brake rotors in the front, six piston Brembo brakes. And then we'll do a full brake first. So, full brakes. Well, that would work. Well, being in the car is a totally different experience. The sound of it's right there. You get the G forces on your body, move it around, tossed around the seat of the car, kind of holding you in place. It's quite a visceral experience. But the legacy of the Camaro is really runs deep. It runs deep with our customers, it runs deep with our development and our marketing teams. As we look at all six generations of the Camaro, I think this is really a, a culmination of all of those years. And uh, we put something out that I think is very special. I think customers are really, really going to latch on to and really enjoy. We've really taken it to a new level with the special colors and the special aerodynamic packages to create the ultimate Camaro Collector Edition. So how does it feel to see my design in real life? It's an emotional one, actually. It was in a warehouse, this satin black ZL1 with this giant wing on the back and rolling in, and the lights crossed it like a movie. It's like, wow, this is really cool. It's like a superhero who just came home from work. So I thought it was really great. I just loved it, and I thought, uh, I thought I should get one of these. Thanks for taking a ride with us as we celebrate Camaro's final sixth generation model. To learn more about the Camaro Collector Edition, visit Chevrolet.com's Camaro page for more details.